Hey guys, want to bring you another YouTube video. Uh, last year I did a prediction. I kind of do this for every um, start of events that I think or make my predictions. So obviously um, I'm a day late because obviously we had the Rams and the Bills. Um, but that doesn't affect my picks, but maybe it does because I put this list together for my prediction. Um, so with week one starting yesterday, um, we wanted to put this out. Obviously, like I said, I put out videos on every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I could have done it on Wednesday, but I figured this might work out better um, because I had something else planned on Wednesday. So, all right. So this is my prediction, Super Bowl pr prediction. Obviously, last year did not turn out well. I actually had the Packers and Browns. So... Uh, let's scratch that. Hopefully this pick is um, a lot better. But I had actually a lot of the teams that I had in the playoffs were correct. So that was good. But um, that was the difference. So right now, let's go ahead. Um, no particular order who has home field or anything. I'm not going to do that. Um, but I, I, I think that it's almost anyone's game. But... After watching the Bills yesterday, I think they look great. So I have them winning the AFC East. The Bengals winning the North. The Colts winning the South. The Chargers winning the West. Then I have the Broncos in. I have the Ravens. I have either the Raiders or the Chiefs. Um, that was a hard one because, like I said, I can see almost all four teams from the West making it. Um, obviously... I don't have the Dolphins. I thought the Dolphins have a chance. I also dropped the Titans because I think uh, with AJ Brown gone, that's going to hurt them. I think I think it's the Colts' year with now a better quarterback. They got the running game. They got a pretty good defense, so that's why I put them there. Um, I think with the Ravens, I think they have a great running game. Um, I think they're almost like the Niners. How they are built. They have a pretty good defense. They got some um, a good tight end. And then some um, pretty good wide receivers, I think, that's going to jump out this year. So, And it's Lamar Jackson's um, time to shine because he's looking for a new contract. Guys with contract years, that's what I like. Because they're going to have extra motivation. And also, last time the Ravens and the quarterback was in this situation was with Joe Flacco. They won a Super Bowl. So it, it could work out again for um, Lamar Jackson to break the bank. All right, let's go with the NFC. I got the Niners winning the West, the Bucks winning the South, the Vikings winning the North, and then I got the Eagles winning the uh, East. Obviously, I think some of you guys might be surprised or, or not with the Packers not winning it. Uh, the North. I just think with Devontae Adams gone, um, I think that offense might be a little let down. You got Sammy Watkins. That was a downgrade. I think uh, Lazar is already doubtful for the first week of the game. So I, I think you'll be surprised where my next picks for the wild cards and stuff. So I got the Rams in, but I might change it actually. I do think the Saints should get in for sure, but I don't know. Like I said, the Cardinals, I, I left out because I think it's going to be tough, but I could see the Bear, uh, Cowboys not making it either or the Packers. So I feel like one of these three, I got kind of tie, like Rams, Packers, Cowboys. I could see could make it, but I feel like one of them is not going to make it. So originally I left out the Packers. But I could almost see the Rams not making it either. If they can't solve that offensive line, they got no running game. Uh, I feel like that's a disaster right there. Um, they got the wide receivers, I think. They got Robinson. I think Robinson's going to get better. They got to earn that trust because if Robinson could get 1,000 plus yards with some, cr some horrible horrible quarterbacks in Chicago. You should be able to put up some numbers with Matthew Stafford. So, but I, I feel like if you're not going to, if 
like I feel like if the Cowboys and the Rams played, I feel like the Cowboys could beat them because they have Michael Parsons. They got a pretty good D line. I feel like the Niners are going to give them a lot of issues this year. That's why, uh, in that sense. So, a lot of teams have questionable line. I I think this year that's going to be very interesting. It's going to be who could withstand that, like what um, what Joe Burrow was able to withstand with his O line last year. So that's who I have in the playoffs now. Obviously, you guys think that's kind of bold. The Chiefs might not make it, or the Raiders, that were both playoff teams. Um, no Patriots, that's a kind of bold, too. Um, Titans, that's another bold one, potentially. There, I, I think there's a lot of good teams in AFC. I could see a lot of different teams making it, uh, or make a case for them. NFC, I feel like it's straightforward, like I said. Um, Cardinals, like... NFC West, I feel like they're going to have a tough schedule this year. They got to match up with the West, uh, AFC West. So that's going to be really tough, I think, in that sense. And then we got to play some of the South teams, which the Saints and the Bucks, I think, are pretty good in that sense. But, like I said, I hope with Brady uh, O-line, it's not being healthy. That could help uh, the Niners. It could help. Uh, the Cowboys, since I think the Cowboys and the Bucks, that's going to be a close game. Uh, so, now my Super Bowl pick. I know you guys might think I'm a homer because I got the Niners. Um, but again, last year I didn't choose them. Okay. Uh, I thought they were going to make it close. Get to the Super Bowl close, but not win it. I got the Bills and Niners. Um, so, again... I'm not trying to be a homer. I haven't always chosen the Niners to make it. My argument is I can make a case the Bucks don't have a good O-line. Yeah, they have a good quarterback, but he's old. Vikings, you have uh, Cousins. I don't think they have a good enough defense. The Eagles, I think, could be a really dangerous team. Um, the Rams, I don't... No, I mean, they were one pick away from not making it to the Super Bowl. That could have been the Niners. So, uh, and they didn't look that great against the Bills. It's almost like they haven't played for a while. And then you got the Saints. You got Jameis Winston. That's the question mark there. The Packers, I don't think they're wide receivers. I think uh, I heard on Madden, the ratings, I think their uh, wide receivers are nowhere close to being 90 or above. I think they're like 80 or below, I think I heard. Um, and then you got the Cowboys, which their O-line is suspect, and they lost Amari Cooper. So I think the Niners' only question mark is Trey Lance. I think he's an upgrade compared to Jimmy Gar uh, Garoppolo. So because, like I said, our O-line is not that strong. But if he could scramble, get those yards like um, – Josh Allen, I think we're set. Especially we got a lot more running backs this year that we could use. Don't have to uh, run down Debo Samuel. I know we're going to miss George Kittle first game, potentially. But you don't need him now. You need him towards the end. <laughs> so I think that's going to be okay. So that's why I, I got the Niners. I don't know how you can make an argument. I know a lot of people are in the media is trying to stir up, well, Jimmy G – might have to come in and save Trey Lance. I'm expecting ups and downs from Trey Lance. But look at the ups and downs with um, Josh Allen and how it's paid off now. So that's what I want for that type of development. Rely on the special teams, defense, and the running game. Um, he's going to develop along the way. I mean, look at the preseason. He had that 80-yard bomb to Danny Gray. So... I, I, like I said, I think you're going to have those shots and chances. Um, and he's going to pull that d different dimension like Colin Kaepernick being able to run uh, or Josh Allen. All these different running quarterbacks, that's where I, I prefer. He needs to know how to slide and stuff like that. I think as long as he could stay healthy all year, we're good. If he does not, like I said, you got the best insurance protection with Jimmy Garoppolo. Like I said, I hope he, uh, he has a long leash for the season. 
don't pull he needs to learn um like i said our defense should be able to bail him out with the running game too the bills i mean yeah i i could see a lot of these teams Bengals gotten better with their o-line colts got better with their um a quarterback now um, that's better than Wentz. That's a huge upgrade. Chargers got uh, better. The Broncos got better. The Ravens, I, I wouldn't say they got better, but as long as Lamar Jackson is hungry to get paid, he should be good. You got the Raiders that got better. You got the Chiefs, I think, took a little bit of a step. Um, I'm not still in the Patriots this year, but I think the Dolphins got better. So, but I think Bills are f so loaded, and... That's why I'm choosing the Bills. Uh, even before yesterday's game, I was going to choose the Bills. Um, I, I just think I'm sold on their defense. The running game, you got a dual uh, quarterback, and then you got, I would say, three good wide receivers there that I, I wouldn't mind having in that sense either. So let me know what you think. If you think I'm crazy with my Super Bowl picks of the Niners and the Bills. But... My winner, to win it all, I, I say the Bills. I mean, I don't think it's Trey Lance here to win it all, but this could help him with the experience and everything. Um, but I think it's the Bills. Uh, they look... I, I, I think it's their time, uh, honestly. So um, so you can't say I'm a homer in, in that sense because I didn't choose them again to win it. But I think they could get there. Um so go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Together we could build better tomorrow. Let me know what you think in the comments of the picks and um, the playoffs. If these teams are going to make it the playoffs that I chose and uh, all that. Alright, hopefully you guys enjoy uh, week one. Alright, thanks.